Hi everyone, this is Grace and I'm coming to you with my next set of entries for the House Mouse birthday collab, I'm um, not collab, a birthday challenge. And can I just say this is the second time I'm filming this because as I was going through I showed someone's address. So can't have that, right? Especially if it's a home address. So we're going to try filming it again and hopefully I can remember what I said before. Um, this comes to us from, or me from Tina Kappa of Pennsylvania, and this one is from Judy Hahn of Ontario, Canada. So I want to share with you um, what both of these women had sent, and I don't know if Judy has a channel. I know that Tina does, so I'll link Tina's channel down below. So um, let me see if I can, okay, because she wrote a note right here, and I don't want that note to show. So anyway, is this not a beautiful, House mouse card. Look, she heat embossed. Happy birthday. Ooh, it might actually be a little sticker. So pretty though. And I love how she did the coloring and then interspersed that with lots of flat back diamonds. And then don't you love the dimension on these, the flowers and the bows and oh, so adorable. It's such a little mouse. Correct me if I'm wrong. Those of you who are house mouse experts, I certainly am not, even though I love my house mouse. Is this Monica? She looks like little Monica, doesn't she? Anyway, thank you so much. And then, you guys ready for this? In the inside, it's like a little party art going on inside. Make a wish. So pretty. You know, I had bypassed on the stamp, um, but now that I see it, it's really pretty. Wish I had gotten it. <laughs> And then look, the sticker with the glitter. And then these little stickers. And she stamped out, May your special day be surrounded with happiness, filled with laughter, blessed with love, and remembered with joy. Oh, and look, she's writing happy, and then, you know, in the process of writing happy birthday. So thank you so much, Judy. Does any, is anyone else like that too when you look at something especially like this stamp set and you think yeah it's okay and then you see someone else use it and you're like oh it looks so nice I should have gotten it right so thank you so much Judy and then from all the way from Canada I mean I'm so surprised she sent me some goodies and so it was nicely wrapped up in this tissue paper and you guys I wanted to show you the stickers and isn't this washi tape so adorable it's so pretty anyway let me share with you what's inside here all right so she included two rolls of faith-based washi tape so thank you I always make good use of these especially when I write letters and um, prepare things for my youth kids so thank you and then a bunch of ephemera and stickers for me to use so this one angels are watching over us is this not pretty and then it says here believe these would be so pretty and then the shaker card so cute coffee and a little heart-shaped shaker card then on the back are some nice gold foiled tags and then some flower ephemera pieces. Oh, these will get much, much love. These are, oh, I love the window shutters. Can you imagine popping these up for dimension? And oh, so pretty. Judy, were you listening on the videos when I was telling you guys that my mother was, um, wishing for more adult looking cards because I could totally use these to create very beautiful adult looking cards for her. Oh, these are gorgeous. She'll love that. Oh, and these are really cute. These little tiny bags. I was thinking of making some um, punch outs for someone and I was thinking, oh, because you guys know I don't like making, you know, little bags or just bags in general. I only make them once in a while. Um, so I think having the Tuesday morning, um, the We're Memory Keepers, I think it was, the bag maker, that has helped certainly because you guys know I don't use my envelope maker anymore. But these are so pretty because I was thinking, oh, am I going to have to put the little punch outs in, you know, plain plastic 
little bags and so these will be so pretty thank you so much Judy I will make very good use of those you can be sure of that and then oh more ephemera pieces so look how gorgeous this butterfly is and then the flowers oh my goodness I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to set aside a day when I just craft Judy Han um, embellishment pieces into cards <laughs> Thank you so much. And then she sent a sheet of planner stickers. And this is really nice. Let all you do be done in love. Sermon notes, never give up, hallelujah. And I love these, the Ichthus and Jesus Messiah, King of Kings. This especially will be great to use around Easter time, that nice pastel color palette, huh? So thank you so much, Judy. This was totally unexpected. And certainly I appreciate the international shipping. I can't believe you sent this across the border. So thank you so much. And I totally thank you for this cute little guy. It's going to be a splash of bright colors and happy colors in my wall of house mouse. So hold on, let me put all of this back in and then move on to Tina's. Hold on. All right, so nicely back in its package, and then let's move on to Tina's. She sent me a house mouse birthday card and then an ATC. And so I love the ATC and the die cut she used. Um, happy birthday to you. And do you see the sparkle on that little hat and then on the lettering too? And she, Tina had picked up a bunch of these in a recent haul, and I thought they were so cute. So so precious to see that here now on the back is her personal information so I'm not going to show that but she also created I'll tuck that over there she also created a birthday card for me and she put it in a plastic sleeve so she this I think is one of the bows from the Tuesday morning paper clips right so she plucked that off the paper clip and then used that um, Tina incidentally can I just share with you when you hauled that in your Tuesday morning and you said that you were going to pluck it off and use it, although I could totally see why, because it's such a pretty bow, I was thinking, but Tina, you're going to take it off the paper clip? But paper clips. I know, I'm so silly. <laughs> anyway, it looks so pretty here, and she certainly, um, it certainly complements the little um, bows there on the kitty. And do you guys see this? She's put some sort of glaze on it. So it's really nice. It makes it pop. Same with the little bell. And certainly this is such a sweet little um, image of the kitty cat with the little mouse. And then she layered it. So Tina's really good about layering and using dyes and such. And then happy birthday. Oh, I love this. And then when you open it inside, she's created a nice little place for me to write and such. So even though she created this card for Elle, and it's, she stamped out, created by Tina Kappa. So even though she's created this for me to use, um, or, yeah, it's not getting used. It's just going to go on to my wall of house mouse. So yay for two more entries, and this one is going into my little ATC. Now, what you see down below is a, um, and then Tina sent me a note too, which I'm not going to share with you guys because it's personal. Not really, but <laughs> anyway, um, so Tina a while back contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a house mouse stamp swap, which you know me, I was totally all for it, especially because Tina and I from time to time will swap things. And so um, she sent me pictures and asked if I had any of these which believe it or not I do not so so perfect for summer don't you think and then this little guy not a golfer but I certainly have good fond memories of I'm um, using these on a project that I made in shop back in seventh grade oh look how cute Maxwell is so cute you know I wonder if this is Maxwell then no I mean it looks like Monica I know you guys are probably thinking, she's crazy. How can you tell the difference? <laughs> they do kind of look different, though. And then this one is Muzzy. And I love this one. Dearest one, these are all the things I love about you. Your cute hairy nose, your squeaky voice, your charming scuttle, your seedy breath, and your cheesy jokes. I hope you will be mine forever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Talk about complimenting with insults. Oh my, or at least you know CD breath and all of those things that this is true love, right? <laughs> anyway, when Tina had hauled this, I was thinking, oh, house mouse dance that I do not have. And literally all three I do not have. So I then um, sent her pictures of ones that I had duplicates of that I I have a small little set of um, house mouse stamps that I keep um, that are duplicates either for Happy Meal or Friend Mail and so we did a little um, house mouse swap so Tina thankfully has already received her little swap so if you guys check her out I think she said um, she's vacationing right now but she said that she was going to try to film this weekend of those um, stamps. And so, yeah, you can check out the stamps that she selected to exchange. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you the latest entries from Judy and Tina. So Judy sent me a beautiful, adorable little house mouse card. And then Tina sent me an adorable and beautiful card and ATC. So um, one of these days, I think towards the end of summer, when the house mouse birthday challenge is over and I've got the wall assembled, I'll show you the wall of house mouse so you guys can see what I was planning and what I was hoping for when you guys, when I asked for all these birthday cards. So um, I think other than that, um, check out Tina's channel. I don't know. If, I don't think Judy has a channel, but Judy, if you do, leave me a comment down below, would you, so that I can link your YouTube channel and, you know, certainly make sure that I'm subscribed as well. Mm, otherwise, thumbs up subscribe and I will be back with more entries because I still have a handful of entries to share with you so um, hopefully I'll be able to get through them this weekend all right take care everyone thank you bye